hi Pauline, thanks for taking the time to meet with us today and share more about Keep Calm and Mother On. First of all, maybe you could share with us a little bit more about yourself. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Pauline Lowe. Uh, I'm a writer. I have written about 10 um, adult books, 5 children picture books and 2 youth books. Um, my most current effort is this book. It's called Keep Calm and Mother On. The best quotes ever said uh, about motherhood all over the world. Uh, yes, and it's going to be launched around Mother's Day. Although I'm a writer, I would say that my first priority is being a mother. Um, I have three children, uh, two girls aged 16 and 40, and my son is right now only 8 years old. Um, I resigned from a writing a job to take care of my uh, firstborn in 1995, and I've never regretted that decision. Uh, but since then, I've also taken on part-time posts and um, writing positions uh, while mothering them from home. Mm. Mm. Mothering is a very, very important role, a very crucial role, I feel. Um, and um, I was very honoured when Amma Publishing asked me to write uh, a book about uh, parenting and mothering in particular. Um, it is a direction that I want to move into in terms of my writing. Um, and uh, I just want to encourage women out there that uh, uh, you are indeed doing something very important and uh, not to be discouraged but to keep calm and mother on. Keep calm and mother on. Yes, because motherhood can be tough. Yes, and uh, we want to, we, we've seen those uh, advertisements on TV, right? The, the very gracious women, perfectly dressed, you know, hair so smooth and all, and then they whip up this perfect meal, yeah? Uh, but a lot of the times we fall short of that. Our children come home from school and what do they get? Maggie me, you know, because we've been so caught up with crisis in the home and other. And we want to be this gracious mother to them, but we end up yelling stuff like, do your go to bed, go and bathe, and etc. Yes, so we sleep up a lot of the times, um, but I just want to tell women out there, it's alright, it's alright that you slept up five minutes ago, just calm down now, and we will keep mothering on, because you are irreplaceable in your child's life. After collating and organizing the quotes, um, I realized the breath of all that has been said about motherhood uh, all over the world. So I believe that um, uh, the contents here can speak to mothers uh, from a wide range, uh, from mothers of newborns to mothers of teenagers um, of all races and religions. Um, so it's a good book for them. And why a book about quotes? Well, um, I've noticed that we need different books for different occasions. Sometimes we need a really heavy going kind of book like encyclopedia or uh, uh, a how-to book when we want to really dig into a subject. But there are a lot of times when we just need something light, bite-sized, inspirational, just to help us uh, uh, press on for the day. Yes. So, um, well, when I designed this book, it, uh, it, just look at the size. It's something very handy that women can just put into their handbag bring it onto the MRT with them and within the space of a ride you can already read two or three quotes and for the rest of the day you can just even pick that one quote uh, that will particularly impress you meditate on it, reflect on it and perhaps it can even help you in your life so that's the way I've designed this book and um, there are also sections with quotes that just makes you laugh because I think that sometimes we need that. We need a space in which we can put up our feet, have a good laugh, uh, and then we can carry on with our noble job of mothering. For the men, I really would encourage them to give it as a gift to their wives. Uh, why? Because it's a very tangible expression of your uh, love for them, of your appreciation for the tough job that they are doing. And for single women, well, I think it makes a good gift on Mother's Day. And it's so pink, isn't it? Yeah, well, so wrap it up with a nice bow and I think it will be a nice gift. What will mothers 
enjoyed most about this book, um, I feel that it's very readable uh, because mm. it's in you know, one quote at a time. Um, there are quotes to address us in a lot of situations for the times when we need to be tough on our children, for the times when we're feeling a, li a little bit down and we need some encouragement, for the times when we doubt what we are doing and so we need a bit of affirmation. Mm. And besides all that, um, uh, a lot of the quotes uh, is food for thought because as one uh, lady said, an actress who's called Diane Lane, she said, my parents treated me like I had a brain, which in turn caused me to have one. So that's included in this book. And I thought that, is, uh, that really gives me a lot of food for thought. Like, and I also parenting my children as if they have a brain, so that they too will become you know, very independent and wise uh, decision makers. There's this one quote that says, when you decide to become a mother, you decide to have your heart walk outside of you for the rest of your life. And that was so very true, I feel. Yes, so right now my heart is in three separate schools, <laughs> one in primary school, one in secondary school, and one in junior college, yes. Uh, it's a very, uh, uh, it's a feeling that mothers need to get used to, but um, we love it. Yeah. <laughs>Yeah, mothers do all things. Mothers wear many hats. This is so funny because it really reminds me of this icebreaker that I like to play at our, our mothering forums because we do run this forum for mothers as part of a voluntary welfare organization called Women uh, Empowered for Work and Mothering. So this icebreaker calls for all the women, about 50 participants and all, to list down all the roles that they play. Yeah, and so at the end of it, we always find that all we, all the women who have written at least twenty roles or more. Really, that is how much mothers do. Yeah, so we are we are mothers. We are also daughters to our mothers. We are si uh, you know sisters to our siblings. We are aunts to our nieces and nephews. So for our children, we cook, we clean, we chauffeur them around. When they're sick, we play nurse. Uh, you know that we are the disciplinary master, the mentor, the teacher. Uh, yeah, so the list goes on. Um, it's very amusing, mm, but at the same time very awesome. And think, out of all that, we don't get a salary. <laughs> so what advice mm -hmm. would I give to first-time yes. mothers? Uh, I will try to recall uh, what I did when I was a first-time mother. Uh, I remember that I had postnatal blues. Oh, yeah. yeah, because um, I really wanted to do the best job possible. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I set a very high standard for myself and I became very overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So I would tell new mothers, um, don't be so, uh, don't put so much pressure on yourself. Enjoy your newborn because they are really very cute. Yeah. <laughs> so as I mentioned, just now one of the quotes say, you know, we are actually making a decision to have our heart go outside mm -hmm. of ourselves for the rest of our lives. Um, that is so true. Uh, you know, my children are now in, uh, in primary and secondary schools and uh, they are away from me like about uh, six of hours or more every day. So, um, every day, the, one of the things I must do is I must pray for them. Mm -hmm. I must know that there is somebody more capable than me looking after them where they are. Mm -hmm. A place that I cannot go, into the school. Mm -hmm. But I know that God can go with them. So when, after I pray for them in the morning when I send them to school, I feel this you know, like reassurance because I put them into much, much more capable hands than myself. Mm. So that's one thing I do. The second thing I do is um, to keep a good relationship with my husband. Uh, I have to recognize that uh, the mother cannot do it all alone. Mm. No mother should think that. They need their fathers. Uh, we need to be in alignment with each other uh, mm. as husband and wife. To, um, so that the child feels secure at home and from there she will grow up to be a secure adult. Mm -hmm. That's the second thing. And oh right, the third thing is I maintain girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really encourage all mothers not to be an island to themselves with the children hanging on to the skirts because these are the kind of women that we see in the cartoons, you know, with the frazzled <laughs> hair, holding frying pan like a weapon like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, girlfriends really help to um, de-stress us yeah. mm -hmm. and um, uh, a lot of my 
your friends are also mothers, we are going through the same seasons and we share our problems with each other and we gain a lot of insights from each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to thank them for picking up the book. It's such a great honor for me to know that they're reading it now. And uh, I feel that we are already friends because we now have something common that we are sharing. Uh, secondly, is um, uh, Mother's Day is really for them because you know why do we celebrate this day? It's because really mother motherhood is such a uh, crucial role from the beginning of time. You know. Um, again and again, it's been uh, 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 put in development, uh, child development books that uh, the role of a mother is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I would say uh, enjoy your day and uh, be affirmed again about your special role and keep calm in mother art. First of all, Happy Mother's Day! Uh, this day was created specially for you. Why this international recognition, you know, this setting aside of a day for mothers? Uh, well, is to affirm that indeed you play a very a special role. From the beginning of time, uh, mothers have been uh, irreplaceable. To your children, you are their only mother. And to my children, I'm their only mother. So, um, the other thing I would say is um, all my best wishes to you that uh, you will uh, go on to have a very intimate relationship with your husband and your children and even when they are all grown up, they will love coming to you and sharing with you their deepest secrets and uh, that uh, you will be so satisfied with all your labour over all the years.